you watch our show, you already know that Lopez is working at home. She's juggling double duty as mom and meteorologist. Oh, we love it all oh. watching Nolan, too. Well, the rest of the world knows now because baby Nolan, he had a surprise cameo that went viral last week. Right. <laughs> Well, um, he had a... a <laughs> Want to do some okay. cameo again, Nolan? <laughs> well, hey, good morning. All right, so we're waiting for that storm to arrive here in Southern California. <laughs> it looks like there's a baby down below. Right. Baby Nolan down below, nine months old, and maybe a meteorologist in the making. Five in Ventura and Irvine, 64 degrees and 62 in Pasadena. We'll talk about this storm. He walks now, guys, so I'm, I've lost all control. Okay. We'll be right back. <laughs> Brandy tweeted our adorable moment and we went viral. Brandy's tweet now viewed over 2 million times on Twitter. We made GMA's play of the day. So we all know by now that working from home, it is not easy. And as one of our colleagues in Los Angeles found out, it is especially tough when you are trying to do the news from home. Take a look. We're waiting for that storm to arrive here in Southern California. <laughs> It looks like there's a baby down oh, below. Hi, meteorologist Lesla Lopez. <laughs> well, good morning, America. I <laughs> have yogurt on my face. <laughs> the struggle is real. From morning to late night. She was like, coming up at 7, I asked my husband why he can't do one simple job for five minutes. <laughs> and everywhere in between, Nolan's cameo was the kind of good news that travels fast. Millones de mamás que trabajan desde casa. We got shout outs from Dan Rather, Elizabeth Banks, and even this guy. Remember the BBC blooper dad? The, um, pardon me. Pardon me. My apologies. BBC dad Robert Kelly tweeting about my pretty smooth move. But perhaps the best reaction came from Southern California's very own rock star, renowned seismologist, Dr. Lucy Jones. I was just like watching him come and grab your legs. In an enjoyable coincidence, just two days after our viral moment, I met Dr. Lucy Jones for a story on earthquakes. Dr. Jones herself is no stranger to the buzz that comes from a baby showing up on live television. Here she is almost 30 years ago. It is not on the San Andreas Fault. Her own baby Niels in the spotlight at a press conference just after the 1992 Joshua Tree earthquake. I think it's just so wonderful that I'm standing here with you, <laughs> the woman who started it all for everybody, every working mom. Take us back to that moment. You know, when I did it, it was uh, you know, uh, magnitude six at 10 o'clock at night. And my husband's also a seismologist. And, but you know, we both had to respond. We had to do it. There was a computer crisis and my husband literally handed me the baby in the middle of an interview. <laughs> okay, we put him down, he screamed. Okay, you just do it. And that's it, you just do it. It's an interesting thing that the pandemic's bringing us. We can't pull off the myth that your kids don't exist. Well, I think that's what resonated and it was just relatable. People are Zooming every day on calls and babies cry. Uh, kids jump in the shot, dogs are barking, cats are <laughs> tipping cups over, you know, like these things are happening and that's work life. It is the work life balance and now it's here and you discover it's not that bad if you pick your kid up in the middle of it. Dr. Jones says the response to her viral moment with baby Niels was also overwhelmingly positive. You know, all of this uh, sort of the symbol of working motherhood. The downside, well, there was one was like, you've shown we can have it all. And I was like, no, you can't have it all. I'm not giving my kid enough time. I'm not giving my work enough time. So he was 19 months old. He's now 30 and getting his own PhD in earth science. And you have a grandson. And we have a grandson. We've got eight weeks old. Can't hold his head up. Can't put him on the hip yet. But uh, <laughs> Uh, it's the whole circle comes around. Oh and that's all oh, the man of the hour, oh, Nolan. Do yeah. you know that people have responded in French and in Spanish and in Korean now online to your moment Portuguese. with mommy? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh I my know, gosh. Isn't that great. Look at him. It's been incredible. And you know, it did. It started this conversation about how do we keep work life balance going after the pandemic? Maybe this opened the door, unfortunate as the pandemic is, but perhaps yeah. this opened the door for more possibilities for people and families specifically. So yeah. let's see if this can keep going. Uh, we'll, we'll try to incentivize this to happen. And you know, the funny thing is, is uh, actually Dr. Uh, Lucy Jones and I were standing there talking about an earthquake, the Silmar earthquake. It's the 50th anniversary of it. 
And uh, we were there for that. And we have a special coverage on that coming up on Tuesday. Nolan, stop Go. eating the click. Oh, Are you going to get that back from look him? Look at him. <laughs> you just do it by Nolan, hook or it's crook. all wet now. You oh. do what you have to do. <laughs> Les, I didn't hear anything that you said because I was staring at the sweet cheeks. That's okay. Make him smile, okay. Les. Make him smile. A, there, that's okay. Smile, Bubba. Can you smile? Da, 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 da. Oh, he's teething now, guys. Da, 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 da. Oh, so oh, he's he's a different baby lately. <laughs> smile. He is big. No, he's that not boy interested is today. Big. Why? Because these teeth are causing some problems. He's up all night, too. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.